let's have a look at how to change the page size in Canva. I'm going to cover Canva Free as well as Canva Pro. Let's start with the free version of Canva. As a Canva Free user, it is actually best to change the page size at the time when you create a project. So with that said, when you're on the home page of Canva, when you click on create a design in the upper right corner of the screen, to adjust the page size from the get-go, click on custom size below. And you can then enter the desired page size. Once you've entered that, click on create new design. Now I'm fully aware that there are situations where you have already created a project in Canva and only then you would like to change the page size. Now this is where things get problematic for Canva free users. Because the problem that we have here as a Canva free user is that after creating a project you cannot simply change the page size because this feature is a Canva Pro feature only. This problem becomes apparent when you actually click on resize and magic switch on top here because this is where you would actually change the page size. You will then get this pop-up window right here which is basically telling you that this is a Pro feature only and you would need to upgrade to Pro in order to use it. If you're interested in upgrading to Canva Pro you can actually try it for 30 days and obviously if you decide to do that, you will obviously also be able to change the page size in Canva for free during those 30 days. However, if you don't want to do that, I have a little workaround for you. So let's suppose this is the design that you have been working on on Canva free. And now we discovered there is no way for you to change the page size because you don't have Canva Pro, right? So what can you do about that? Well, let me show you. First of all, what you're going to do is you will open up a new window and go back to Canva's homepage. Then in the upper right corner of the screen, you click on create a design. And then at the bottom, you click on custom size. Now here you're going to enter the new desired page size. So let's suppose we would like to have a vertical format instead of this horizontal format right here. To achieve that we could use the dimension 1080 pixels by 1920 pixels. This is basically the reverse format that we have here because what we have here is 1920 pixels by 1080 pixels and now our new format is going to be 1080 by 1920 pixels. So after you've entered the desired new page size click on create new design and you will then see your new blank project. Now go back to the old project and then in the lower right corner of the screen click on grid view. Then make sure that the desired page is selected and right click on it and then choose copy. Now go back to the new project and left click on the blank canvas then right click on your mouse and click on paste. And this will actually paste over our project. And now all we need to do is to reposition these individual elements right here. You can simply grab them, put them to another place, make them bigger or smaller as needed to make it fit the new page size. Let me quickly do that. And just like that we have successfully recreated our design here on a new page size. Of course it would be better if this could be done automatically, however if you're a Canva free user then this simply cannot be done and this is the best we can do. Now let us have a look at how to change the page size as a Canva Pro user. In Canva Pro when you have your design opened up like this, to change the page size all you need to do is to click on resize and magic switch here in the top menu. This was actually just called resize in older Canva versions and at some point it was also just called magic switch but at the current moment it is called resize and magic switch. So make sure to click on that. And to change the page size now, you can either click here on where it says custom size if you would like to change to a custom page size. So you could click on it and then let's say you would like to change that to a square format. Then you would simply enter the desired dimensions right here. So for example 1024 by 1024 pixels. And once you've done that at the bottom click on continue. You will then get a nice little preview. And to change the page size now, you can either click on copy and resize or resize this design. If you click on copy and resize, a new project will open up with the new page size. If you click on resize this design, then this new page size will apply to your current project. So this is completely up to you. So in my case, I would like to have that on a new project because I would like to keep both page sizes. So I click on copy and resize. After that, you also need to click here to open up the new project. And just like that, we get our design here on this new page size. Now, as you can see, Canva did some automatic adjustments to make sure that everything fits the new page size. However, this is not always going to be perfect and often some manual adjustment will be necessary. So in this case here, I would simply reposition our elements a little bit to make it fit better the new page size. So let me just quickly do that. And I would maybe go with something like that. Now instead of choosing a custom size when changing the page size in Canva Pro, you could also use some pre-made page size templates instead. To do that once again on top click on resize and magic switch and then instead of clicking here on custom size you could actually go to social media right here and then just simply use one of these pre-made templates right here. 
You will find all sorts of popular page sizes right here for all the popular social media platforms such as Instagram, TikTok and Facebook. So let's say that the design that you're currently working on you would like to use that as a Facebook ad, then you would simply take the Facebook ad option right here, then at the bottom click on continue, then click on copy and resize if you would like to create a new project with the new page size or click on resize this design if you would like to apply the changes to the current project. In my case I will go with copy and resize again and then I will click here on open Facebook ad and just like that we have our design now as a Facebook ad with the perfect dimensions for Facebook ads. Now obviously here as well if you're not happy with how everything has been arranged on the page you can still easily adjust that. So for example maybe I would like to have these elements here a little bit more in the corner so I could simply select them and then reposition them. And maybe I would like to have this guy a little bit bigger so I'll just make it a little bigger like this. And then I would probably also want to make this arrow bigger something like that. And that's it, we're all done. And this is how you change the page size in Canva, both in Canva Free and Canva Pro. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to smash the like button and subscribe for more Canva tutorials.